hi guys welcome back to my channel before getting into today's video i know this is a different approach as far as some of you that have watched my previous videos if you're new here welcome usually i'm in my bedroom sitting in front of the camera and just having that direct connection but i spent this last week trying to reinvent my channel and think of ways that can create a better connection with my audience and having a clear intent of what I want my channel to become and thinking of other areas of growth that I can work on um, as far as finding different content still within health and wellness or uh, mental health and wellness because that's my main priority. Anyways, so I wanted to try vlogging style to see if it creates a better connection um, with you guys, like if you feel more interactive and just seeing which one you guys prefer. So let me know what you think down in the comments below if you like it when I'm just sit in my bedroom sitting in front of a camera or if you like it vlogging style and feeling more interactive. Um, but other than that, with that being said, today's video, I want to talk about having a clear intention on who it is that you want to become. And what I mean by that is knowing and studying everything that it's going to take to get you to where you want to be. I think oftentimes, and this is actually... Um, another wave of realization that I had. Uh, this past week was kind of hard emotionally because like I said, you're just realizing a lot um, as you grow and you become wiser and, and becoming more clear with what it is that you desire and working and striving towards your goals. It takes a lot out of you emotionally mentally physically but it is worth it and we know it's worth it and it's the hardest journey that we are here to endure and most of us avoid it never fully unlocking our full potential but if you're someone with so much resilience and nothing is going to stop you and you keep continuing you're just going to keep uncovering layers and layers and layers of truth of reality of what it's actually taking for you to become that person and sticking to your your plan and that's something that i realized um, and i thought that this would be a great video to come back on while i have this thought and while i'm going through this and realizing that it really is that simple i'm about to sit down and realize and realizing that it's really that simple to become the person that you want to become. We make it difficult. We make it overwhelming. We overthink it. We go around it. We avoid it. But once you start tuning into yourself and finding all your internal answers and only having your, and only caring about your own validation, you have a very clear vision on how you are going to become that person. And it's just sticking to that, focusing on those, those everyday tasks to achieve the lifestyle or the mindset or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. You have to do everything. You, you, you assess everything. Everything that comes your way, you assess it break it down, figure out how you're going to maneuver through it and get past it. And we can we tend to easily avoid that because our mind is so scattered, we have no focus. We have no clear intention on what we want to become. And that's why a lot of us live our lives very lost and often not feeling fulfillment. Um, you really cannot care about what others think of you 
Um, I actually have, sorry, because I have my board of my points. And I want to stay on track because since this is vlogging, this could easily turn into a really long video. It's about imitating the habits that you do not have, but you know that you need to have in order to become this person. So obviously if you want to become a business owner or an entrepreneur or whatever, you're gonna have to have discipline. Um, you're working 24 seven and you're going to have to have a, a very structured schedule of how, of all the things that you need to do in following through. Most times when we are faced with these challenges, we give it maybe a little push. And if we can't get past it in that little push, we avoid it. We go around it and it's always gonna stay there if we, if we keep ignoring it. And the more we ignore it or the longer we ignore it, the longer it's taking away from our growth. You have to move past these blockages. You have to get over your fear of it and you have to figure out like i said assess how you are going to get past this blockages so you can get past it to keep growing and to keep moving forward um so if you don't have discipline then you're going to have to find the ways that to discipline yourself and sticking to those habits and practicing those habits for what it's going to take to get there and knowing that when you're fighting your thoughts on attempting it you can you know that discipline is not going to ponder it's not going to think about it it's going to do it because it knows it needs to be get done and that's just with anything that you're trying to achieve within life. It's going to take repetition. It's going to take consistency. And then going back to clear intention, you have to know what it's going to take to get there. You know, if you want to become a successful content creator, you know that you are going to have to focus on the things that you may not necessarily like and but it's necessary for your growth so studying your analytics and not being intimidated by the numbers because you're not seeing what you want to see yet you have to look at it through a lens of okay this is where i'm at what is something i can change that can make a difference in my numbers you know obviously positive to try to get more attraction to your channel and whatnot you're gonna have to study and assess and reinvent and reevaluate how you're gonna get there because it's not a smooth journey you're there's it's gonna become slow you're going to get discouraged you're gonna want to give up but you have to understand that you have to keep going They never fail. <laughs> they never fail. Um, so with me, you know, I notice a slowness. I've noticed a slowness in my channel's growth, and I did become a bit discouraged and questioning myself. But I knew that was not good for me. If I chose to think negatively about it and think that it wasn't for me or it wasn't going to be successful. No, I understand that maybe I need to change something up. Maybe I need to try a new approach. And that is why I've tried this vlogging style. Because maybe it creates a better connection with my audience for them to watch my videos longer. Um, and it's really about looking, always looking towards improvement. Not looking towards giving up. Because we just automatically assume because it's not... A, a linear growth that it's not for us but that's not true everybody goes through ups and downs like nobody's journey is perfect and this is what makes us 
those people that we want to become. And it's just following through on everything that you promise yourself. Um, and it's focusing. Um, focusing. You need to focus. Stop getting distracted. Stop investing your time in things that are not benefiting you. That is how we become lost and strayed away from who we are is because we spend so much time on these apps looking at other people's lives, wanting their lives, you know, feeling envious, feeling jealous, feeling sad, feeling mad. Because all we're doing is spending our time watching other people. We're not focusing on our growth and what it takes for us to get to where we want to be, to have that lifestyle that we may be envying or be, be jealous of or, or inspired by. Because often jealousy, it's, it's like, jealousy is a feeling of seeing, basically seeing something that you want but can't have but may see somebody else have. And I know there's probably a way simpler definition. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, that's what it is. We secretly want those things, but all we're doing is watching in others and being envious, but not working on ourselves and knowing that we can be, we can become that. And that's something I had struggled with. And that's just something that I realized a long time ago was when I was feeling envious, it's just because that's what I want. And I wasn't giving myself that. And I was focusing externally and not internally on how I was going to get there. But I realized that to not look through a lens of envy or jealousy, but to look through inspiration. Because at the end of the day, it's because you want it. And you don't need to be jealous. You don't need to be envious. Just be inspired and know that if they can achieve it, you can achieve it too. It's all about self-development. But again, if we're not focusing or if we're, if we're investing our times poorly, if we are investing our time poorly, then we're never going to become the highest version of ourselves. Also on my list is control your mind. You need to control your thoughts and what comes through them. You need to focus on the tasks at hand and not being come distracted or avoidant of them. You need to clear the fog as much as you can and get clear with yourself, get clear with your vision, get clear with what it is that you want. And spend every waking day that you have on this planet working towards it. That is where you're going to find fulfillment. Is knowing that you put in the work on yourself to become better. To heal yourself. To become a better human being to others and to yourself. To put out inspiration into the world as far as following your own unique path and not focusing on what is trending, what everybody else is doing, what people think you should be doing, what it is that you want to do. That is where you find fulfillment. So if that's what you're struggling with is happiness and fulfillment, you need to seek internal validation rather than external validation. It's really about direct focus and having a clear vision, clear intention, putting in whether 1% or 99% each day, whatever, it's still progress, whatever you're able to do in that day, but you spend 18 minutes working on a task to help you become better, that's enough. And I want you to know that's enough. You don't have to put too much pressure on yourself in the beginning because again it's not a habit you're not adaptive to it yet so you have to learn to adapt to it and just know that even if you you do five minute stretches every day because you want to become more flexible 
And then one day you, you change that five minutes to 20 minutes, 20 minutes to 45 minutes. You just find yourself doing a whole lot more in what it is that you want to do and finding much more fulfillment. Oh my god, I'm in 20 minutes. Okay, so um, I'm just going to wrap this video up. And again, let me know what you guys think. If you prefer this style of filming or if you prefer when I sit in front of my bed or sit on my bed in front of the camera. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um... There's a lot that I want to do with this channel, but again, just focusing on one thing at a time and knowing that with time and consistency that I know this channel is going to blossom into everything I've ever imagined and I can't wait for you guys to just see how cool I am. <laughs> and I think this one shows my personality a bit more rather than just sitting in front of the camera so personally I like this better it makes it easier to film it's less intimidating it's more comfortable I think I have a more I'm in a more state of flow this way than in front of the camera um, but yeah I really hope you guys follow your passions and just do what it is that you want to do be kind to others of course and just Focus on putting positivity into the world and being good, giving and showing love and compassion because in today's time, that is what this world needs. And that is, again, where you're going to find fulfillment and happiness. Also, I wanted to mention, though last week I took some time off from making content, I did end up doing a podcast with one of my really good friends. Her name is Emily, and she just started up her own podcast where she talks about fitness and nutrition and as well as mental health. So we collabed and did a podcast on her YouTube channel and her Spotify. And if you guys are interested, go ahead and check that out and also check out her channel. And I will drop her details and handles down in the description box below. Her podcast channel is called Mind and Muscles. You can find her on Spotify as well as YouTube. And I'll drop all her handles down in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe for more. Bye, guys. Mwah.